This is a Ramana Maharshi clip, a talk by Ramana Maharshi with comments by Richard Clark. This is a time to listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. I'm Richard. Welcome. I'm reviewing and commenting on the book, Talks with Sri Ramana Maharshi. Today is talk number 42. Mr. Akhanath Rao, an engineer, asked Sri Bhagavan if solitude is necessary for Vaichara. Maharshi, there is solitude everywhere. The individual is solitary always. His business is to find it out within and not seek it without the questioner. The workaday world is distracting. Maharshi, do not allow yourself to be distracted. Inquire for whom there is distraction. It will not affect you after a little practice. The questioner, even the attempt is impossible. Maharshi, make it and it will be found not so difficult. Questioner, but the answer does not come for the search inward. Maharshi, the inquirer is the answer and no other answer can come. What comes afresh cannot be true. What always is, is true. This dialogue is about the nature of solitude and self-inquiry, fundamental aspects of Ramana Maharshi's teachings. When Mr. Akhanath Rao, an engineer, asked if solitude is necessary for Vaichara self-inquiry, Ramana Maharshi responded by saying that solitude is not something external that you need to seek. He said that solitude is inherent within each of us. This is a central theme in Advaita Vedanta, the idea that our true self is always one, solitary, beyond the distractions of the external world. Rao expressed concerns about the distractions of the everyday world, which is a common challenge for anyone attempting self-inquiry. Ramana advised not to let these distractions deter you. He encouraged Rao to investigate who experiences these distractions. By questioning the source of the distractions, you can gradually realize that the true self remains undisturbed by external circumstances. Notice that Ramana even turns distractions into a gateway for inquiry. Rao finds the attempt of self-inquiry daunting stating that answers do not come easily. Ramana Maharshi reassured him by stating that the inquirer is, in fact, the answer. In Advaita Vedanta, the ultimate truth is the realization that the individual self, Atman, is not separate from the universal consciousness. Brahman. The seeker is the sought. There is no separate answer to be found. This realization is the essence of non-duality, Advaita. Maharshi concludes saying that truth is eternal and unchanging. Anything that comes and goes is not true. Only what is true is that which always exists. 
This points out the need to find this unchanging reality within yourself rather than looking to transient external experiences for truth and fulfillment. This dialogue emphasizes that self-inquiry does not require external solitude, but rather an inner quiet and introspection, recognizing that the seeker and the sought are one and the same. It encourages you to persist in your spiritual journey, knowing that the ultimate truth is eternal and unchanging, residing within you as your real identity. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. These videos help bring Ramana Maharshi's teachings into your direct experience. Subscribe now 